This is my 2002 Ford Ranger Edge. Living on the edge. Aerosmith. Um, I, I don't know why it's called Edge, but it's supposed to be the, the fancy one. Um, uh, I, I needed a, a vehicle that could carry stuff, haul, haul things, big things, like engines. Yeah, engines and transmissions, tools, toolboxes. And this one has space for those things. I, I, I'll show you. It, it's got plenty, plenty of space. Um, I, I wanted a vehicle that would do such things, but I, I didn't want to pay for it. Do you, do you know how much the vehicles cost that could carry big things? Or, yeah. Cost of a house. It's, it's ridiculous. Not, I don't I don't have that kind of money. So I got this. And it, I mean, it's got a few battle scars on it, but it's what we call char character. This is just a character mark. It's got character. Uh, I, I think this used to be black. But again, character. It's part of the, the edge personality. It's edgy, right? It's got a front license plate bracket, which is worthless. I don't know why they put those on there. It just makes the whole thing look ugly. Um, this one's got issues. Um, it, it, it's got six cylinders, which, which is the bigger one, right? Like, it didn't come in eight, so shame, shame Ford. Uh, Should have come in an eight. Even the new fancy Rangers that came out, which aren't really Rangers, they're something, something else. They, they don't have the right cylinders underneath here. Um, but at least this one's got six instead of four. And this is the four liter V6. Uh, 255, 265 torque, 215 in horsepower, something like that. Um, I think this is the single overhead cam. So, um, It's got problems, but we're going to fix that. Uh, we're we're going to solve that. We're going to get some liquid courage into this thing, and it, it's going to solve all, all of those issues, I think. Uh, the plugs are probably bad. Actually, quite a bit is, is bad in, in the hair. Um, it, it's seen better days. Uh, 162,000 miles, but it 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 runs. Um, when it runs, it kind of smells like burnt sweet rolls, which might have to do with some of that um, freezer juice that is getting into places it doesn't belong. Uh, but again, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna give it liquid courage, and it's gonna come right back. Um, got a check mark meaning it's good that's a check mark it, it got a D grade but it's a check mark so I mean it's like what I did in school D's kind of thing um, so yeah we're, we're gonna go through this one um, I got big plans for this though Th this is gonna have I mean it's already got the racing cowl on the hood this is factory this came from the factory this way See, see this? This is what half an inch, inch, something like that. Plenty of room to put power type stuffs in here. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I've, I've got I've got some push rods floating around. This is popular back in the day. You, you drop a five liter 302 Windsor in here, uh, and they they were fun. Boy, they were fun. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to do that. What do you guys think? Like. Push rod, you just stay overhead cam, do four, six, you know, three valve, maybe four valve. That would be pretty cool. Um, but this is also the five speed variety, which that's the way it's supposed to be. Um, 
they tell you you can't haul anything, like like tow anything with this, but I, I'm gonna prove them wrong. We're gonna tow stuff, I think. But first we gotta, we gotta fix this poor thing. So let's get into it. All right, so let's take a look at this Ranger Edge. Um, got some chrome. This is sun added chrome, Arizona chrome, right here. And mosaic type window tent, again, courtesy of the Arizona sun. Uh, additional issues at the top. But it's character. It's all part of the Edge personality. Um, let's see. Bed looks decent. Uh, I'm probably going to get a bed liner in here. The only thing I don't like is, is it's missing that sliding rear window, which I always like having that window open for some reason. Uh, let's go down here and take a look at these <clears throat> tires. These are radial AP. Iron Man tires. With Dick Sepik. Sep Does anyone know who Dick Sepik is? I like to go to the airport and just use a white paging phone. White paging phone, Dick Sepik. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Um, yeah, we're missing missing something back here, so I'll have to address that if I'm going to tell anything. Got a little battle mark there, but it opens perfectly. Closes. More, more battle. More edge. Definitely was used. Yeah, more chrome on this side. We're gonna have to delete that. Let's go up front here. Take a look. I might uh, address this issue here. We talked about this grill. Might just uh, add a little color back into that space. Maybe clean up these headlights so I can actually see at night. Now let's go inside and see what's going on up in, in the interior. Now I've been in this truck and it, this truck smelled like uh, mothballs and grandpa's socks after a day of working in the garden. And so I had to hang up a little, uh, little fr fragrance there. And it cleaned up the steering wheel. It was bad. It was just bad. And put a steering wheel cover on it. But uh, super dirty. Like just, just. It's a work truck. Um, I put these seat covers on it, and we're going to go through a cleaning video probably on this, and I'm going to figure out how to get the seat forward. Well used. You've, yeah, that air freshener failed, obviously. Cup holders. I, I dig cup holders. Got three of them. I uh, got one of those boom boom sound maker things. Uh, manual everything. Manual door locks, manual windows. Like I said, it's a work truck. I'm going to order 
new uh, cruise control switches, so we can fix that. I don't know if we're going to be able to fix that emblem. We'll see. Maybe we can try to find one. So, yeah, it's... Probably we'll just get the pressure washer out and just hose this all down in here. I don't know, maybe we'll do steam. One of the two. There's some stickies on there, so probably get the steam out. Seats are not in fantastic shape. <coughs> Got some carnage. So we'll have to clean those up. My shop back broke, so I'll need to get a new one of those. Um, headliner is in great shape. No issues there. Got one of those government listening devices in here. Uh, which that's... That's fine. I don't mind. So, yeah, we're gonna work on this today. See how much better we can get it running. 4 liter single overhead cam which again looks like somebody drove it off the road. This one I understand, but the 89 I did not understand. Uh, I took the um, air filter out in the MAF because I was getting some rough idle and that air filter was filthy. And the, figured the MAF was too. So here's the air filter. Looks like it's seen better days. This is a filter charger injection performance kit. That's horsepower. No doubt. So I'm going to have to clean that up. Uh, let's see. I ordered plugs and wires for this. They should be here tomorrow. We're going to change the oil. Um, and I think that's about all we're going to do today. I need to get this over to get, uh, you know, the government um, metal on it. Because right now it doesn't have any government metal on it. So I don't really want to swap out the mass sensor because this is the factory one. Um, if the rough idle at start continues, I, I, dig, I, I got plugs and wires coming tomorrow, so we'll swap those out and see if that has any effect. Uh, could be a vacuum leak. I, I don't know. Um, one thing at a time. We'll do plugs and wires tomorrow. Shouldn't be too hard to do it on this one. Um, got plenty of access. Um, there's a cab right there. And manifold's really tiny, so should be relatively easy. Just hope that they're not totally seized in there. I'll probably spray them down tonight with some deep creep and let them soak overnight. I've got bad glare on that side, but um, This is black coffee and that's all. And nothing more, no milkshakes. I made it, wow. That's, that's a first. Oh, it's not milkshake, that's. This is actually really well designed. So the oil plugs right here and the field filter is right there. That's the way it should be. 
That way you take well your drain plug out and make it into your container. Okay, out we go. Ooh, that's tasty. Mighty, mighty oil filter. Engine guard. Yeah, I'm glad that's coming out. All right. So we're gonna let this drain a little bit more. And then we'll get the filter back in. Got a wix going in. And got a good, good oil cocktail going in. Got some engine repair, some mystery oil, some 5W30 high mileage, full synthetic. So, good stuff. Now I just gotta get out from underneath here. All right, here we go. We're going this way. Oh, nope, not going that way. I'm going this way. Okay, so, got the drain plug back in and the new Wix filter in. So now we're gonna put oil in. So because this engine's a little bit sketchy, 162,000 miles, I kind of whipped up this cocktail here. It's got bar leaks, um, whatever that place is. Is it bar leaks or is it bark leaks? I, I don't know, whatever. Um, engine repair, some mystery oil, and uh, 5W30. Okay, so I got our cocktail ready to go. This engine takes five quarts, so we're gonna dump this whole bottle in there and see what happens. I hope this is the right place. I've never worked on this engine before, so. Yeah, that's, that's 5W30. Here we go. this because it was on sale and it's got a, a salt handle on it maximize power in your engine triple action formula plus 20 times better high temperature protection performance high mileage extended performance NASCAR official motor oil well if it's good enough for NASCAR it's good enough for me All right, so we're done with that part. Okay, we're gonna get this air box put back together. So I ended up cleaning out, use some MAF air sensor cleaner that I got at Ozone or Auto Riley's, whatever the place is called. Um, so cleaned out that side, cleaned out this side. Whether this will make a difference or not, well, well we're going to find out. Uh, I don't think this has ever been cleaned since the truck was bought originally. Let's get this. This is one of those manhandle it ones. So, advice of the day. Don't ever marry a woman who doesn't work on cars. You'll find out it's a very lonely life. bottom of that. That's great. don't think it's supposed to be like that, but that's okay. 
All right, I know this isn't clean, but well, let's see if we can do it a little bit better here. Yeah, that's really pretty. Try to straighten out some of these areas that got crushed. I don't know what happened here, but maybe somebody dropped it. I mean, I will definitely, once I get my shop air fixed, we'll come back through and clean this out. Trying to get to <clears throat> Phytex 13th. Uh, good guys, car show today. So we'll have to see if we can make it over to that. Good Guys Runs All Weekend started yesterday. It's a good show. A lot of great cars. A lot of great people. It's out here maybe two or three times a year. All right, let's see. surging anymore it sounds like it's got maybe a manifold leak um, or an exhaust leak of some kind but this is leagues ahead of where it was um, I think we're gonna try to get this over to the testing place and see if we can get an A <clears throat> um, so I can get the government metal on it all right so got got it vacuumed out the uh, a lot of this stuff though is just baked in here so I'm getting a steam cleaner out it's heating up right now so we're just gonna steam clean this whole thing and uh, if you guys don't have a steam cleaner I suggest you get one because they are magical they do seats they do carpets they do vents they do it all and uh, some of the stuff that's just caked on here, you know, that, that'll come right off. Um, but you gotta be careful with some of this plastic though, cause it will, it will damage your, uh, your plastic. So be careful with that. So we'll get started on that. <clears throat>
we're going to try to improve upon this grill here. Um, it's uh, supposed to be black. So I think we're going to tape some of this out and then put some color on it. So I'll see how that looks. got this taped off um, good enough for my expectations we're gonna use um, VHT very high temperature flame proof 1300 to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit which is pretty close to the operating temperature in Arizona so this should should stand up to Arizona summers Spend a couple hours at Good Guys, and then uh, that'll, that'll be it for today. Thanks for checking in, and uh, look forward to seeing you guys in another video. Uh, there's more videos to come on this Ranger, as well as the Jag, the 89 Mustang, the 93 Mustang. We've got a lot of plans, got a lot of stuff we got to do. Huge backlog. Um, again, if you want to support this channel, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate it. Thanks again. Have a great day, guys.